you are in the process of purchasing a home or even just thinking about doing so in the near future, then this is the video for you. Hi guys, it's Tiana of Matt and Tiana and welcome back to our channel. If you are brand new to this channel, then please smash that like button and subscribe. We come out with videos every Sunday and we make sure that they are super useful or super fun. Okay, let's begin. When you're quite new in the property game, or even if you have some experience but want a great deal, a mortgage broker is the obvious choice as they have thousands upon thousands of lenders at their disposal to sort through to meet your needs. But what often puts people off? Yes, the cost. But not all mortgage lenders take their fee directly from you, but take it from the mortgage lender instead. So essentially, they're free. And guess what? They are even online free mortgage brokers, which I will be linking in the description for the UK and the US. So really, it's just up to you to find those fee free mortgage brokers. Me and Matt have actually opted to use an online mortgage broker called Habito. And in this video, we're just gonna go through the processes of using Habito, as well as how we're finding the whole thing so far. So this is the Habito website, which I must say, I am a sucker for aesthetics. So I love the way this website looks. It's like quite cartoony. It's got a user-friendly interface, like I'm sold. So I already started looking through Habito and as you scroll down, it tells you more about Habito, um, tells you about a little bit more about their company. It has a mortgage calculator, which is quite useful. Um, they have a Habito and they have a Habito Plus, which I'm guessing is the more advanced features. And as you see, 90 plus lenders, over 20,000 mortgages available from Habito, which is excellent. And as they show here, they've got their main banks on tap. And they even got their own mortgage here. So with a 25% deposit though, so that might not apply to some of our first time buyers. No broker fees, which is what exactly I explained. Um, much more than a comparison site. And you get to actually talk to actual human beings, which is what me and Matt had. We had a consultant meeting for 45 minutes, which was awesome, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, the thing that really made me choose Habito as well is all of these, you know, positive comments and positive reviews. One said I basically told them what I needed and they did all the work for me, which is exactly what you're looking for when you're buying your first property. Look at, the, look at that view on Trustpilot. Five out of five stars. Come on, they can't all be lying. Um, and yeah, it's for first time buyers, remorg people that are trying to remortgage, home movers, buy to let people. So it's all very useful. And if you can see in the corner here, it says British Bank Awards 2020. So they even won an award for their service. So this is why I went with Habito initially. I'm just going to take you, me and Matt have already done all the questions because once you first sign up to Habito, you have to do all these questions to show them, you know, your background, your financial situation. So this is just the dashboard behind all that. We've done all that. And obviously our mortgage application is in progress because we've done all those necessary questions. The questions take you about, I don't know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. If you're doing it with someone else, you need to make sure you have all their information on hand or you can send them a link after you've done their bit, after you've done your own bit and they can fill out their own bit in their own time and then you'll get your mortgage in principle once you've spoken to somebody. So like I mentioned before, Habito can actually offer a consultation from one of their experienced mortgage advisors. Me and Matt had one and it lasted about 45 minutes and it was so useful. So if you have any questions for a mortgage advisor, any questions about a house, any questions to do around the finances of buying a house, just make sure that you have your notes on deck and you can ask them everything. They're very helpful, very nice. It was an amazing experience. Um, we sat there and got everything out. He went through the whole process of us from start to finish about how they do with us, what to do once we found a place and we put an offer in and how things will go from there. Um, and on that 45 minute call, we were actually able to sort out our, our mortgage in principle. And um, he was able to advise us about that as well. Ask us what our preference is, um, you know, like how do we want a fixed term mortgage? How long are we planning to have the mortgage for? And what would be better for us and things like that. So. It's a very good experience doing an online mortgage. 
I wouldn't say it's less hands-on than going to see a mortgage person in person. I do believe that if you do an online mortgage, you save money because you don't have to travel there. And it's a bit more convenient, you know, especially during these times when, you know, that virus beginning of C is out and you can't really leave your house. So this is great. I imagine that online mortgage brokers are going to become very popular due to the fact that people can't actually go and see their mortgage brokers. When me and Matt have finally secured that long anticipated house, we will actually do another video about Habito and how the rest of the process actually goes down after you've actually found your dream home and you've actually put an offer in and it's been accepted. And yeah, that video will be quite comprehensive. We'll let you know how it is. We'll let you know if we have any problems. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you found this useful, again, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe because we've got more videos coming out about houses as well as, you know, some fun little challenges and stuff, you know, some reaction videos. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I'm Tiana. Matt's not here, but yeah, we're out. Bye.